Hi, I'm Jeremy Crosby. And I'm Nick Boucher. We're the hosts for the program that's all about your city, Talking Pittsburgh. Every day, we pull together the news, events, and information you need to stay on top of what's happening in the city of Pittsburgh. Find Talking Pittsburgh on cable TV, Roku, Amazon Fire, Apple TV, and our live stream on the web. Plus, you can view all our headlines and stories on Facebook, YouTube, and our video on demand service. This is your city. Keep up with Talking Fitchburg and the issues that affect you and your neighbors. Want to know what's happening in your city? Get Notify Me messages from the City of Fitchburg. Visit FitchburgWI.gov on your computer or mobile device and select the big Notify Me button on the left. Enter your email and or phone number, whichever is best for you to get notifications. Scroll down the list and select all the topics you're interested in to receive email or text messages about. You'll be notified every time one of your topics is updated. Sign up for Notify Me. One more way to keep up with your Fitchburg government. on October 8th, 2024 at 6 p.m. Finance Committee. What did I say? You said finance. Did I say? Oh, Finance Committee. <laughs> it's Finance Committee, everyone. October 8th, 2024, 6 p.m. Uh, first item of business is the approval of minutes. I need a motion on the draft minutes of the, of the September 24th, 2024 finance meeting. I move approval. Moved by Alder Wheeler. Uh, comments, questions? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Moving on to 2B, draft minutes of the October 1st and 2nd, 2024 finance meetings. I'll move approval. Motion by Alder Jetzer. Comments or questions? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Next is item three, public appearances for non-agenda items. We have no one in chambers and we have no one online. So we can move on to item four, finance director report. Only reminder would be that council proposed amendments to the 2025 mayor's proposed budget are due Thursday at 430. Please use the Word doc form that I emailed out to all of you, and they need to be in final form by that deadline. That's it. Short and sweet. <laughs> all right. Moving on to item five, review of bills. 5A, detailed review of ACH payments for $10,000 and above from September 1st to the 30th, 2024, totaling $547,011.29. Comments or questions? Mm -hmm. Moving on to 5B, detailed review of all ACH payments from September 1st to the 30th, 2024, totaling $553,338.38. Comments or questions? We can move on to 5C, detailed review of checks for $10,000 and above for September 16th to the 30th, 2024, totaling $1,210,462.57. Comments, questions? Moving on to 5D, detailed review of all checks issued, checks 127534 to 127592 from September 16th to the 30th, 2024, totaling $1,294,553.04. Comments or questions? Easy peasy. Moving on to item six, action items. 6A, and I'll need a motion on Resolution R-16324, approving, so authorizing acceptance of the 2024 sidewalk and related concrete bid. I move approval. Motion to approve by Alder Wheeler. And is Tim, Public Works Director, take it away. Yes, th this is actually going to be tabled to the October 22nd, 2024 uh, Common Council meeting. So, oh, yep, but let's still act on it for finance, if that's okay with you, Tim. Yeah, I would rather not because of a public hearing has to be had for it. I'd rather not have finance a, a, approve the contract prior to the public hearing. Okay. If so, that's okay, that's kind of how we handled it at Board of Public Works, too. Sure. So right now, Jim, you have a motion to approve. Would you like to f uh, withdraw that? I will withdraw my motion. To approve. And can I get a motion to, uh, what do you call it, postpone, postpone to the uh, October 22nd meeting? Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Alder Wheeler made the motion to postpone to October 22nd. All in favor of postponement, say aye. 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 
Motion carries. Moving on to 6B, Resolution R16824, Approval of Stoner Prairie Park Plan implement Implementation. I'll move approval. Motion to approve by Alder Jetzer. And I think we have Scott Endel online. Yes, this is, uh, if you recall, we, we did bid this project back in May, uh, but the prices did come in over budget. And actually when we uh, bid the project in May, uh, the project basically includes an open air shelter uh, with some concrete work around it and a playground structure. Uh, and when we bid it originally, we bid it as a, an entire project uh, and it did come in over budget. So uh, those bids were rejected. Uh, what we did do is we rebid it uh, with a base bid of the open air shelter and the flat work. Uh, and then uh, the park commission did look at some alternates uh, and are recommending the alternate for the playground, uh, the playground surfacing, and then the column uh, wrap of the, for the shelter. And I did, hopefully we were able to get the uh, uh, support documentation in the, in the, the, the finance committee packet. It does have a, illustration of the shelter and the column wrap along with the playground. Uh, this will take a two-thirds vote. Uh, uh, with the help of Misty, we had some uh, moving around of some parkland dedication or park improvement dollars. Uh, and we, the total price, uh, we did receive three bids. Uh, the low bid uh, with the alternates came from Parisi for $441, $465.50. Uh, and we did add a 10% a contingency uh, uh, cost on there for 485, 465 for the for the total price. Thank you, Scott. Misty, can you talk a little bit about the the source of the money? Yeah, so we have collected some additional park fees from recent developments. Those developments would uh, be the primary users of this park, so it makes sense to apply those park fees to this particular project. And is the entirety of the project paid for by park fees? Correct. Okay. Questions or comments from the committee? Alder, yeah. Scott, are there restrooms with this shelter? I can... uh, there are not. This is just going to be an open air shelter. Okay. And actually, the uh, Tracy and the engineering group are working on a well station uh, right adjacent to the park. And if you look at the master plan, you can uh, see it in the corner there. And we're looking to uh, include in that well station uh, bathrooms for the for the facility. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Seeing no more comments or questions, we can take it to a vote. All in favor of resolution R one sixty eight twenty four, say aye. 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 Motion carries. Moving on to six C. I'll need a motion on resolution R one sixty nine twenty four. Set twenty twenty five solid waste collection rates. I move approval. Motion by Alder Wheeler. And I think our environmental engineer, Ben Schulte, is on the line. Yes, thank you. Um, so this is um, setting the rates for 2025 curbside trash recycling brush and yard waste collection costs. Uh, if you recall from a previous meeting, uh, contractor costs for 2025 are going to be virtually the same as they were um, this year in 2024. <laughs> Uh, so as a result, if you look at the an analysis of various charges on fund balance remaining document, I think it was the last, uh, the last uh, supporting document in the packet, um, you can see the highlighted row um, just kind of summarizes, um, you know, the effect of, of different rates um, on the fund balance. So um, again, since uh, contractor costs are going to be virtually the same, um, this year, it, it, the recommendation is to keep the rates the same. Um, you'll see in the uh, applied fund balance column, um, you know, this would be an estimate of, you know, just over $8,000, um, uh, you know, uh, more than, than what is needed for these services, which uh, keeps us at about 24%. Um, of the unassigned uh, annual budget, um, which is about right where we uh, want to be. So it's, it's uh, yeah, easy to, to recommend and no increase here. Are there any specific questions? Can you just call out for the people watching what the changes are from last year? 
Yes, absolutely. So there are a couple of changes. Um, one with uh, recycling collection, uh, additional bags of recycling um, are no longer free uh, to put out next to your cart. So if you have additional bags of recycling um, that, you know, your cart's already full, it's not going to fit, you can still put them out, but um, you should call Pelletary beforehand uh, to make arrange arrangements for that. There is a small fee um, for each bag. Uh, the other change is um, one more yard waste collection in fall. Uh, so previously there had been two yard waste collections um, and now there will be a third yard waste collection in fall. Great. Questions? Seeing none, we can take it to a vote. All in favor of resolution R169.24 say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thanks so much, Ben. Uh, moving on to resolution R one seventy one twenty four. I'll need a motion um, R one seventy one twenty four approving Madison Gas and Electric service estimate for the North North Fish Hatchery Hub. I'll move approval. Motion to approve by Alder Jetzer. And Scott, are you going to handle this one again? I I, I can. I, I may need some support from Tim, but this is basically MG and E's uh, a charge to get the to get the electrical service to the hub. Great. Anything to add, Tim? Uh, just that the cost for the, the electrical service is uh, $39,489. And then in the near future, too, we'll be executing a, a similar agreement for uh, a gas uh, to the building. And I assume this is part of the planned project costs. Or is this something outside of the realm of what we are expecting? No, this is within the, the project budget, and we were expecting to have to pay for the electrical service, and there will also be a, a fee for the, the gas service, too, to the building. I, I walked by there last week, and mm -hmm. it's under construction. Yep. Yeah, it's, 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 it's rolling, so it's exciting to see. Other comments, questions? Um, Bill? Yeah, what is the gas service going to be used for? I'm a little disappointed that in 2024 we're attaching fossil fuel to a brand new building. I'd have to check check with Tracy on that exactly what specifically it's being used for. Circle back with us on that, Tim. Yes, I'll follow up in an email tomorrow regarding that. Fantastic. Other questions? Seeing none, all in favor of resolution R-171-24 say aye. 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 Motion carries. Moving on to 6E, I'll need a motion on resolution R-175-24, purchase of pedestrian lights for phase one in the plat of fourth edition of Terra Vesa. I move approval. Motion to approve by Alder Wheeler. Tim. Uh, pedestrian scale lights are required per city ordinance in the T4 and T5 districts of Smart Code. Uh, the plat of 4th edition of Terra Vesa is located in the T4 district and requires pedestrian scale lighting. City specified pedestrian scale lights are sold direct by the manufacturer Stress Treat Incorporated to the city. Uh, this is so that the city can keep the lifetime warranty for the, the lights, the developer reimburses the, the city for the cost of the lights and the install. The agreement for subdivision improvements in the Plata 4th edition to Terra Vesa requires the city to purchase the PED lights uh, for this plat and the subdivider to reimburse the city for these lights within 30 days of invoice. Looking for approval of the purchase of the pedestrian lights in the 4th uh, edition to Terra Vesa from Stresscrete uh, for a total cost of $121,683. Wonderful. Questions? Pretty straightforward. Uh, all in favor of resolution R-175-24 say aye. 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 Motion carries. Next up. 6F, I'll need a motion on resolution R-176-24, approving an agreement for real estate services for the Fitchrona Road Reconstruction Project. I'll move approval. Motion to approve by Alder Wheeler. 
Jetzer. Jetzer. <laughs> I'm off today. Motion to approve by Halder Jetzer. <laughs> Tim, back to you. <laughs> Thank you. Fitchrona Road is scheduled for reconstruction in the year 2025. As part of the construction of Fitchrona Road, property must be acquired to construct the roundabout retaining walls, stormwater features, and other improvements for the project. Uh, Public Works Department prepared a request for proposals for real estate services, which was advertised by legal notice in the Wisconsin State Journal on August 30th and September 6th, 2024, as well as was posted on questcdn.com. And we also individually notified six firms which perform these services. On September 16th, 2024, the city received one proposal for these services. Uh, Public Works Department checked references and determined that Terra Venture Advisors is a qualified consultant to provide these services. Uh, the next phase of this project is included in the capital improvement plan for 2025. In order to keep the project on schedule, staff recommends authorizing a budget amendment to contract for this service in 2024, rather than waiting until the funding is appropriated in 2025. Uh, therefore, we're looking for approval of the agreement for real estate services for Fitchrona Road reconstruction project with Terra Venture Advisors LLC um, in a total amount of $102,410, and that includes a 10% contingency. And then we're also looking for authorization for the city to issue $40,000 in additional debt in order to sign this contract in 2024 and looking to amend the 2024 capital projects fund budgeted um, by $40,000 for this contract to be funded by additional borrowing. Thanks, Tim. Can you clarify for me, is the 102000 just for the consulting, or does that actually include the acquisition of property? That's just for the, the consulting. So the, the consulting is kind of two parts. One, there's the appraisal to do prior to the actual negotiation. And then the second part, once we have that appraisal, to sit down with each of the 23 property owners and, and negotiate um, for, for either the temporary limited easement permanently limited easement or to purchase the land fee simple. Okay. And is this, uh, I don't have a baseline for this. Is this a pretty typical amount of money for this type of work? So for fit fish hatchery road, um, on that project, we pulled the, let me see right here. I had Ross kind of pull the, the bid tab for that, and there was six submitters on that project, and they ranged in cost from 65000 up to $115,000. Um, and that, that was probably four or five years ago the city went out for those services. So we felt comfortable with, with the price that uh, Terra Venture came back with on this. Okie dokie. This is a project where... Um, we are collaborating with the town of Verona. Am I correct? Correct. And so with the MOU, do they contribute to costs like this, or is it just a flat cost that they're planning to contribute to the project? So, so, so far, the only executed um, intergovernmental agreement was for the engineering design services. Uh, we have sat down with them to talk about construction and then also the, the acquisition. So the, the actual amount has yet to be determined, but they will be contributing an amount for, for these services. For, for these services as well? Yes, that's something that will be part, part of the negotiation. Um, how much is to be determined? Got it. Other questions, comments from the committee? Um, yeah, so Tim, you mentioned the 40000 of additional borrowing, and that would have happened next year, right? So, I mean, it's, it's not like this is um, a unique thing. This, had we not done it uh, for 2024, we would have done that same 40000 of borrowing in 2025, right? I believe that's correct, Miss B. 
be? Can you verify that? Yeah, so ultimately that 40000 is already authorized if the mayor's proposed budget is approved in a, about a month. That 40000 is already in the 2025 budget, but because we want to do this contract in 2024, we need permission to do that now. We can't wait till the budget is authorized. So to an extent, that 40000 is duplicated between what we're doing now and in the, in the future. Um, but for this large of a project, I guess I'm not concerned about that duplication. And before we borrow, we still always go look and see what actual amount we need to borrow because, you know, sometimes the budget's off. So there's still some flex in there, um, but it's a relatively small amount in order to at least get this project moving forward. Seeing nothing else, um, we can take it to a vote. All in favor of resolution R17624, say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thanks so much, Tim. And uh, we'll need, I'll need a motion on our last item, R17724, amending the 2024 general fund budget for parks LTE hours. I move approval. Motion to approve by Alder Wheeler. And I'll kick it back over to Scott. Thank you. Uh, and with the help of, of Misty and the finance department, we were able to uh, a bridge. We did have a, a resignation in the park maintenance staff, the full-time staff. Uh, and, but we did have a, a seasonal employee who's willing to uh, continue working until we, we fill that position. Uh, so, like I say, with the help of, of Misty and Finance, we, uh, we did uh, find some dollars within the operating budget of the, uh, the current budget to, to move to the, uh, the personnel area so that we could uh, bridge that gap between um, uh, the, the uh, departure of the full-time employee to a new full-time employee getting on board. And the total cost is $5,000, is that what it is? Um, well, that's what we're going to transfer. I don't know it, specifically what the cost is going to be. Misty might be able to, to shed some light on that. Yeah. So this is kind of a second step in all of this. So we did do another $5,000, but because of the dollar amount, we could do it administratively, mm -hmm. but they needed additional hours on top of that. So this is really that second $5,000. So 10000 in total for uh, 260 hours plus this one. I don't remember how many hours this one is. Got so it. 550 hours-ish in total. Any other comments, questions? Seeing none. Um, all in favor of resolution R17724, say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thanks so much, Scott. Uh, moving on to agenda um, item seven, announcements. Our next finance meeting will be October 22nd, 2024. I'll take a motion to adjourn. I move we adjourn. All in favor of adjournment, say aye. 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 Motion carries. We are adjourned at 621 p.m. Thank you.